Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to crochet a summer top with a lace design. I love this top so much and I have made three of them so far, as you can see. I have three written patterns, included women sizes, extra small, go up to double XL. It's available on our blog at nickcrowedit.com. If you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on our Etsy, Ravelry, and Love Crafts. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. And for today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you in size small, which is the one that I'm wearing right now all of them okay i hope you enjoy and let's get started for this project i used this beautiful yarn from yarn veda this is fingering weight yarn super fine number one this one in color bagicha 50 percent cotton and 50 percent acrylic in each cake is half 1300 Matter. It is about 1421 yards. In one top, I just use 470 yards. And I can make three tops out of this one cake. The tops that you seen earlier, all of that just come from this cake. It's super cool, right? And the color is just so pretty. I love it so much. And they have a different color as well. Be sure to check them out. I'm gonna put the link to their website in the description below. And I use 5mm crochet hook, yarn needle, and scissors. Let's talk about this pattern a little bit. This is a confident beginner crochet project. And I'm gonna show you step by step. If you are a beginner, I think you can easily follow along. This top is worked in one piece, in round, from the top down. We're gonna start at the yoke and then crochet it down until we reach where we're gonna separate the sleeve. And after we separate the sleeve, we're gonna continue crochet the body part down. And the beauty thing about crochet top down is you can make the top as long as you like, or even you wanna make a dress, it's very easy to adjust and you can try it on as you go. And for the body circumference, for size small is about 40.72 inches. And in the length from the top here all the way down, it is about 17.33 inches. All right, let's get started. Okay, first, I'm gonna make slip knot. Let me move this out. And then I'm gonna make 126 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I have 126 chains. And then we're gonna make a slip stitch into the first chain that we made. And make sure your chain is not twisted. Okay. So I insert my hook into the first chain that I made right here. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through. Now I have a circle. We're gonna crochet in round. This is round one, I chain one. Doesn't count it as stitch. And I'm gonna make a single crochet into the same stitch that I just make a slip stitch right here. So I insert the hook there. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is a single crochet. And then chain three. One, two, three. Skip the next two chain and make one single crochet into the next chain. I skip one, skip two. And then into the next chain there, I make a single crochet. And then repeating this until you have two chain left at the end. So we chain three, skip two chain, one, two, into the next chain, make a single crochet. And then repeat, chain three, skip the next two chains, one, two, and then into the next chain, make a single crochet. Repeat, chain three, skip.
skip the next two chains one two and then into the next chain make a single crochet I show you one more time we repeat we chain three skip the next two chains one and two into the next chain make a single crochet and here's what it looks like so far you're gonna keep repeating this until you have two chain left at the end of round one and I will be back okay now I have two chain left at the end of round one and to finish round one I'm gonna chain three and skip the last two chains and make a slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made at the beginning here so I insert the hook yarn over pull up a loop and pull it through like that round one is complete and I have a total of 42 chain spaces make sure your work is nice and not twisted like this round two make a slip stitch into the first chain space here I insert the hook into that chain space yarn over pull up a loop and pull it through and then chain three and the first three chains count as one double crochet and I'm gonna make two double crochet into the same space yarn over hook insert the hook into the same space yarn over pull up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops that is a double crochet and then make one more double crochet into the same space and then chain one we're gonna make three double crochet into the next chain space here's one two and three and then chain one and repeat make three double crochet into the next chain space one two three chain one three double crochet into the next chain space one two three and chain one three double crochet into the next chain space one two three and then chain one all right so next you're gonna make three double crochet into the next chain space and then chain one and then three double crochet into the next chain space and chain one repeat that around and I will be back I'm at the end of round two and after I make one chain right here I'm gonna finish the round with a slip stitch into the third chain that we make at the beginning insert the hook into the third chain yarn over pull up a loop and pull it through and here's what this look like at the end of round two I hope you have the same round three chain four one two three four and then make a single crochet into the next one chain space and we can now repeat this around we chain four one two three and four and then make a single crochet into the next one chain space repeat chain four single crochet into the next one chain space repeat chain four single crochet into the next one chain space all right you're just gonna keep repeating this you're gonna chain four and one single crochet into the next one chain space chain four single crochet into the next one chain space keep repeating this all the way around and i will be back when i'm at the end of round three i'm at the end of round three and here's what this look like for round four i'm gonna make two single crochet into the first chain space
Here's one. Here's two. Just to bring the stitches right at the middle of the chain space. Okay? And I just gonna place the stitch marker into the first stitch. You don't have to do that. I just wanna make sure you see where is the end of the round because I feel like sometimes it might be difficult to see in camera. So yeah, anyways, after I make two single crochet into the first chain space, I gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then make a single crochet into the next chain space. And I'm going to repeat this around to the last space. I chain 5, single crochet into the next space, repeat, chain 5, single crochet into the next space, repeat, chain 5, Single crochet into the next chain space. Okay, I'm just gonna keep repeating this. I'm gonna chain five and single crochet into the next chain space. Keep repeating this all around to the last space. And then I will be back. Okay, now I'm at the last chain space. And to end the round, I'm gonna chain five. and then make a slip stitch into the second single crochet that we made at the beginning here. Remember, I placed my stitch marker at the first single crochet and I just gonna slip stitch into the next single crochet, which is the second single crochet. <laughs> so yeah, after I chain five, I insert the hook right at the second single crochet there, yarn over, pull up a loop and pull it through. And here's what it looks like at the end of round four and I'm just gonna remove the stitch marker. For round five, make a slip stitch into the first chain space and then chain three. The first three chains count as one double crochet and then I'm gonna make three double crochet into the same chain space. Includes the first three chain. It'll be four double crochet into the same chain space. I'm gonna place my stitch marker at the third chain, just so you can see. And next, chain one, and make four double crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three. Four. chain one and then we're gonna repeat this around we make four double crochet into the next chain space one two three four and in chain one and repeat make four double crochet into the next chain space one two three, four, and then chain one. All right, you're gonna keep repeating this. You're gonna make four double crochet into the next chain space and then chain one, repeating this all the way around. And I will be back when I'm at the end of round five. I'm at the end of round five. After I make one chain here, I'm gonna make slip stitch into the third chain to end the round. So I remove the stitch marker. That is the third chain and insert the hook into that third chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through. And here's what this looks like at the end of round five. For round six, I'm gonna chain six. And make one single crochet into the next chain one space. And I'm just gonna place my stitch marker at the first chain six space that I just made. Just 
just so you can see where is the end of the round. And then I'm going to repeat this around. I chain 6. Single crochet into the next chain 1 space. And repeat, chain 6. Single crochet into the next chain 1 space. You're gonna keep repeating this, you're gonna chain 6 and make one single crochet into the next one chain space. Keep repeating this all the way around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round 6. I'm at the end of round 6 and here's what this looks like. And for round 7, I'm gonna make 3 single crochet into the first space. So I remove stitch marker. And then make three single crochet into that first space. Here's one, two, three. Just to bring the stitch to be at the middle of the chain space. <laughs> and I'm gonna place my stitch marker into the first single crochet here. Just so you can see where is the end of the round. And then I'm gonna chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and make one single crochet into the next chain space. Chain seven. One single crochet into the next chain space. And repeat, chain seven. single crochet into the next chain space. So I'm just gonna repeat this. I'm gonna chain 7, single crochet into the next chain space. Keep repeating this all the way around to the last space. And I will be back when I'm at the end here, the last space. Okay, now I reach the last chain space. And to end the round, I'm gonna chain 7. And then slip stitch into the third single crochet that I made at the beginning here. Remember, I placed my stitch marker into the first single crochet. So here's the first single crochet, here's the second, and here the third. I insert the hook into the third single crochet and make a slip stitch. Like that. And here's what it looks like at the end of round 7. For round 8, I'm going to slip stitch into the first space. First, I remove stitch marker first. So yeah, and slip stitch into the first chain space. And chain 3. For 3 chains, count as 1 double crochet. And into the same space, I'm going to make 4 double crochet. Include the first three chain. I have five stitches here. And I'm gonna place my stitch marker into the third chain. And then I chain one. Make five double crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three, four, five and chain one and repeat five double crochet into the next chain space one two three four five and five and chain one all right you're gonna make five double crochet into the next chain space and then chain one. You're gonna repeat this into each chain space all the way around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round eight. I'm at the end of round eight and after I make one chain here, I'm gonna slip stitch into the third chain that I make at the beginning here to end the round. So remove the stitch marker. 
and then insert the hook into that third chain. Yarn over, pull over loop and pull it through. And here's what it looks like at the end of round eight. Let me show you. It's beautiful. The colors start to change. So yeah, round nine, chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then make one single crochet into the next chain one space. And we're gonna repeat this around. And I'm just gonna place my stitch marker into the first chain eight space that I just made. And we're gonna repeat this with chain eight. Single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain eight. Single crochet into the next chain space. All right, next I'm gonna chain eight and make one single crochet into the next chain one space. Keep repeating this all the way around until the end and I will be back. I'm at the end of round nine. For round 10, I'm gonna make four single crochet into the first space. So first, remove stitch marker. And then make four single crochet into the first space. Yes, one, two, three, four. I do that so I can have my stitch right at the middle of the chain space. And I'm gonna place my stitch marker into the first single crochet. And then chain two. Into the same chain space, I'm gonna make one big puff stitch. So, to do a big puff stitch, you're gonna yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, you're gonna do that total of six times. This is the first time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same space. Yarn over pull up a loop. This is the second time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same space. Yarn over pull up a loop. This is the third time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same space. Yarn over pull up a loop. This is the fourth time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same space. Yarn over pull up a loop. Fifth. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the sixth time. Okay, and then I'm gonna yarn over hook and pull through all the loops on the hook. This part is can be a little difficult, but not that bad. Okay, so I yarn over hook and then I like to turn the tip of my hook down this way so easier to pull through all the loops on the hook. Like that. Pull through all the loops on the hook and chain one. The chain one doesn't count as chain one is part of the big puff stitch. I just call this big puff stitch because I yarn over hook like six times. Usually for the normal puff stitch, we do that three times, you know? So yeah, anyways, after I have one big puff, I can now chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then into the next chain space, I'm gonna make one big puff stitch. I show you, I yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next chain space, yarn over pull up a loop. We're gonna do that six times. This is the first time. Two, three, four, five, Six. Okay, and then I'm gonna yarn over hook and then turn the tip of my hook down and pull through all the loops on the hook. And chain one. And next, I chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Into the next space, we're gonna make one big puff stitch. I show you again, we do the same. We yarn over hook. Insert the hook into the next space. Yarn over pull up a loop. We do that six times into the same space. This is the first time. That's two, three, four, 
three, four, five, and six. And then I'm gonna yarn over hook and pull through all the loops on the hook. And chain one to finish the big puff. All right, repeat. I show you one more time. I chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then make a big puff into the next chain space. We yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next chain space, yarn over bubble loop. We're gonna do that six times into the same space. This is the first time. It's two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'm gonna yarn over hook, put through all the loops on the hook and chain one to complete the big puff stitch. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating this into each chain space all the way around to the last space. So next, you chain seven and make one big puff into the next chain space like that, all right? Keep doing that, I will be back when I reach the last space. Okay, now I'm at the last chain space. I made the last big puff stitch here. And to end the round, I'm gonna chain seven and make a slip stitch into the top of the first big puff that I made at the beginning here. Okay. So chain seven. And then slip stitch into the top of the first big puff stitch right here. Insert the hook there, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through. And here's what it looks like at the end of round 10. And I'm just gonna remove the stitch marker. Here. And for round 11, I'm gonna make four single crochet into the first chain space just to bring the stitch to the middle of the chain space. So here, one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna place my stitch marker into the first single crochet. And then I'm gonna chain two and make a big puff stitch into the same chain space. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same space, yarn over pull up a loop, and we're gonna do that total of six times. This is the first time. Here's two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna yarn over hook, pull through all the loops on the hook and chain one to complete the big puff stitch. And then I'm gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and make one big puff stitch into the next chain space. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next space, yarn over pull up a loop. We can do that six times into the same space. This is the first time. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then yarn over hook, pull through all the loops on the hook, and chain one to complete the big puff stitch. And then chain eight. I'm gonna make a big puff stitch into the next chain space. Do exactly the same. Here's the one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then yarn over hook, pull through all the loops on the hook. And chain one to complete the big puff stitch. And then chain eight. All right. 
So next, I'm going to make big puff stitch into the next chain space and then chain 8. Keep repeating this all around to the last space and I will be back. Okay, now I'm at the last space of round 11. I already made the last big puff stitch here. Next, to end the round, I'm going to chain 8 and make a slip stitch into the first big puff stitch right here. Okay, so chain 8. And then slip stitch into the top of the first big puff that I made. And here's what it looks like at the end of round 11. Beautiful. For round 12, I'm going to make three single crochet into the first chain space. So I just remove stitch marker first. Make three single crochet into the first space. Yes, one, two, and three. And then chain three. And make two double crochet into the same space. And then chain two. Make three double crochet into the same space. Okay, now it's easier to see where is the end of the round. I'm not gonna place the stitch marker anymore. And then into each chain space, I'm gonna make one let shell stitch. For a let shell stitch, you're gonna make three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet all into the same space. It's called as one lace shell stitch. So next chain space here, I make a lace shell stitch. So start with three double crochet. And then chain two, and three more double crochet into the same space. And here's what it looks like. Okay, next chain space here, make a little chain stitch. Start with three double crochet. And then chain two. Three more double crochet into the same space. And repeat, let's chain stitch into the next chain space. So we start with three double crochet. And then chain two. Three more double crochet into the same space. Oops. All right, here's what this looks like so far. You can now keep making one lace shell stitch into each chain space all around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round 12. I'm at the end of round 12 and to finish the round, I'm gonna make a slip stitch into the third chain that I made at the beginning here. I insert the hook into the third chain yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through. And now round 12 is complete. For round 13, I'm gonna make a slip stitch into each of next two stitches. Next stitch here, insert the hook there, and make slip stitch. And then slip stitch into next stitch. And then make a slip stitch into the chain space. Okay. I do that because I want my stitch to start at the middle of the chain space. And next, we chain three. 
count as one double crochet. And we're going to make two double crochet into the same chain space. Include the first three chain, it will be three double crochet. And then chain two, and then make three more double crochet into the same space. And then we're gonna make one lead tail stitch into each chain space around. Next space right here, I'm gonna make a lead tail stitch. So we start with three double crochet. And then chain two. And three more double crochet into the same space. And then repeat into the next space. Make a lateral stitch. We start with three double crochet. Chain two, three more double crochet into the same space. Okay. I show you one more time. Let's show stitch into the next chain space. We make three double crochet. Chain two, three more double crochet into the same space. All right, keep making one let's show stitch into each chain space around. I'm at the end of round 13 and to finish the round, I'm gonna make a slip stitch into the third chain that I made at the beginning, right here. And then slip stitch into each of next two stitches. And slip stitch into the chain space because I want to start at the middle of the chain space. All right, and then I chain three, count as one double crochet, and I'm gonna make two double crochet into the same space. Include the first three chain, it'll be three double crochet, and then chain two and make three more double crochet into the same space. And then I'm gonna make one lead shell stitch into each of next 12 chain spaces. Include the first shell here, it'll be 13 shells. All right, so. Make a little shell stitch into the next chain space. And then repeat, little shell stitch into the next space. I crochet pretty fast this time because I'm pretty sure you know how to make a lead shell stitch already. So far, I have three lead shell stitches and you need a total of 13 lead shells, includes the first one here. All right, and I will be back. Okay, now I have 13 shell stitches. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and 13. So this round, we're gonna separate the sleeve, okay? Just so you know what's going on. 
So yeah, after I have 13 little stitches, I'm gonna chain 5. And then I'm gonna skip 8 chain spaces or 8 little stitches. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I'm gonna make one lateral stitch into each of next 13 lateral stitches. So I skip eight and then into the next lateral here, I'm gonna make a lateral stitch. Right here. Okay, here's what it look like. And this is gonna be the armhole, the eight chair that we skip, like that. And the chain that we make gonna be right at the uh, armpit corner. <laughs> and then I'm gonna keep making one little chair stitch into each of next 12 stitches, includes the first little chair that we make right here, it'll be 13 little chair stitches. Make little chair into the next space. And then little chair into the next space. Alright, I'm just gonna keep making one lateral stitch into each chain space until I have 13 lateral total. So, so far I have 3 lateral, so 10 more to go and I will be back. Okay, now I have 13 lateral stitches on this side. So, here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Next, I'm gonna chain 5. And then I'm gonna skip 8 chain spaces or 8 little stitch. So, this is what I have left 8 little. So, here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I'm gonna slip stitch into the third chain that I made at the beginning. Right here. Okay. Here's what this looks like at the end of round 14. This is gonna be another slip. So this one here. Yay! I hope you have the same. And from now on, we're just gonna crochet the body part down. We're done with the sleeve. All right. For round 15, I'm gonna make a slip stitch into each of next two stitches. And then slip stitch into the chain space just to bring the stitch right at the middle. Okay, and then we chain three, count as one double crochet, and then make two double crochet into the same space. Chain two, three double crochet into the same space. And then I'm gonna make one lateral stitch into each chain space until I reach the chain five stitch that I make right here. So make a lateral stitch into the next space.
and then let your stitch into the next space. Alright, keep doing that until you reach the chain 5 stitch here and I will be back. Okay, now I reach the 5 chain stitch here. Next, I'm gonna skip the next 2 chain and then into the next chain, I'm gonna make a little tail stitch which is right at the middle of the chain here. So we make three double crochet first. And then chain two and three more double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, here's what it look like. And then we're gonna skip the next two chain and then we're gonna make a little tail stitch into the next chain space here. Okay, and here's what this look like. So yeah, I'm gonna make one lead tail stitch into each chain space until I reach the other chain five stitch. I show you one more stitch here. <laughs> make a lead tail stitch into the next space. All right, I'm gonna keep doing that, and I will be back when I reach the chain 5 stitch. Okay now I reach the other 5 chain space. Next I gonna skip 2 chain stitches. 1, 2 and then into the next chain stitch I gonna make a little stitch. And then I'm gonna skip the next two chain right there and we're gonna finish the round with slip stitch into the third chain that we made at the beginning here. Insert the hook there, yarn over proper loop and pull it through. And here's what this looks like at the end of round 15. See this is the body part start to go down there like that. And for round 16, it's gonna be very easy pattern repeat now. We're gonna slip stitch into each of next two stitches. And then slip stitch into the chain space just to bring the stitch right in the middle of the chain space here. And then we chain three, count as one double crochet and make two double crochet into the same space. Chain two, three more double crochet into the same space. And then we're gonna make one lay tail stitch into each chain space around. Super easy. So next space here, make a lay tail stitch. Let your stitch into the next space. All 
All right. Just keep making one lead shell stitch into each chain space around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round 16. Okay, now I'm at the end of round 16 and to finish the round, we're going to make a slip stitch into the third chain that we made at the beginning here. And here's what it looks like. For round 17 to round 26, I gonna repeat round 16. Super, super easy. And if you want a longer top or even you wanna make a dress, you're just gonna keep repeating round 16 more. Okay? I show you a little bit on round 17. And like I said, we repeat round 16. I gonna make slip stitch into each of next two stitches. Slip stitch into the chain space and then chain three, two double crochet into the same space, chain two, three more double crochet into the same space, And then make one lead tail stitch into each chain space around. Next space here, make a lead tail stitch. Next space here, make a lead tail stitch. Okay, here's what it looks like so far. Super easy. All right, I'm just gonna keep repeating round 16 until I reach the end of round 26, and I will be back. Good luck and take your time. I'm at the end of round 26 here. I already went ahead and cut my yarn, and then I pull my yarn out, and I'm done. I just need to weave all my ends. And like I said, if you would like a longer top or even you want to make a dress, just keep repeating round 16 over and over. But for me, I like this length. And that's it for this top. I hope you enjoy making this top. If you did, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, just text me on Facebook or Instagram at knitcrawaddict. I'm going to put all the links in the description below. If you make a dress version, I definitely need to see that. Yes, please share with me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.